Hi friends, um, it's so good to see you. I've had a crazy week. Um, my blog's been down. It's been kind of impossible to deal with and I've just been in the middle of an office remodel. So um, I just haven't blogged and I haven't been able to talk to anybody. So howdy. Um, I just said howdy. No. Hi. I'm happy you're here. I'm happy that I can talk to you um, and share it with you. So yes, you are coming. Um, you're seeing the office live and living color. Um, the new color. Um, I think I just posted a before and after or kind of, you know, before and after with my iPhone pictures. So um, I definitely still need trim here, um, but there's a bright blue wall, like light, beautiful blue um, behind me and I just need to accessorize, um, painted some shelves, mustard, and I'm just totally elated about it. New desks, new everything in here, um, just exactly my style. And I'm just one of those people who needs her workspace to be um, just something that she feels great in and clean and it's it's just awesome and I've had a lot of people help me so thank you for who Vanessa and a couple other friends who have come over to help a lot so um but just to get going here because I don't want to hit over the five minute mark I'm working really hard to stay under five minutes is tonight I want to talk about um things that fire you up and kind of what I've learned that's worked for me since I've got back from making things happen um and just kind of my list of things. So, um, let's see. Number one, working out. Working out really, really, really helps me put my head where it needs to be for the day. Um, I love to try to get there in the morning, even though I love sleeping in and I'm a total non-morning person. Um, but the gym just, uh, when you get there, just get there with some music or, you know, um, um, play basketball, whatever I can. I've had a couple injuries lately, so I've been swimming a lot. And actually, swimming has been super great for me because... Um, I just shut off the world and just have to focus on breathing and so um, yeah I've actually super enjoyed my swimming and ending it with a little bit of hot tub and reading a book before I go to bed so lately I've been going late nights to the gym and it's been like super great and just work out that stress from you know the everyday um, things that you're going on so along with that I really love music I think most people that know me think I'm crazy about music and I love just music and I love dancing to music and working out to that so um, music is another huge huge thing for me I'm obsessed right now with the Glee soundtrack um, I was totally totally knocked Glee for a while and it's just one of my favorites now I love everyone's voices on it and I can't believe it's not until April but um I just absolutely love that um, and music just for me putting in the right CD with the right mood just really gets me going um, or you know I'm that I'm that runner that needs to run to like techno so I'm not even thinking when I'm running I'm just like listening to the beats and I definitely thought about like maybe turning music on and like showing you a little dance party but um not today <laughs> so maybe sometime soon but one of my favorite things actually to do before a photo shoot or before like a client meeting is to have like a little dance party in my car um, so it's kind of fun as long as, um, you know, I'm with people that don't think I'm crazy, which usually I am. Um, but the people outside are, like, looking at me in my car. Oh, yeah, like, full-on, like, uh, dancing, playing air guitar to a lot of songs. I'm really good at all of that. I've practiced quite a bit. So, yes, that's one thing that super fires me up. But I just... Um, keep trying to do you know I had a really tough last couple of days just with the blog being down and things like that so many times I just get in my car with when I'm headed to work or whatever maybe just like jam out and do things that I know that will make me feel better um and just get my head back on track um other things um you know, I've been really um, grateful to all the MTHers or Making Things Happen watercolor friends and even those people that are signed up to go to maybe Dallas tomorrow. I mean, we've just created this amazing um, support group for each other and I've Skyped for the first couple of times. Yes, I've Skyped. Woohoo! Like, knock one off. Um, but just to... It's just so good for us to continue to push each other and connect with each other and encourage each other. It's just... Um, it's just super awesome and I'm really excited to see where that goes on the MTH site that just launched. So if you haven't been there yet, www.mth2010.com, I'm pretty sure it is the website. And it's um, something that Ross at Flow Sites put together and it's just awesome. And it's just going to continue to grow and be um, just a place for information, not only for if you haven't been to a Making Things Happen, but also I think for the people that have attended I'm making things happen it will be a super great thing so I've just kind of really really connected and been really thankful for all of you who um, are continuing to be encouraging and not only that but super accountable like how's it going today well, what's, what's going on with you what are you struggling with um, 
and kind of fight through it. It's just been great, and I've been really excited to give that back to um, different watercolor friends. Um, so that's been super awesome, surrounding myself with good, awesome people. And I really did take the message to heart that Laura and Jeff talked about, is like, get try to get rid of the people who drain you in your life. So, you know, think about those people that really, really drain you, whether it be someone on Facebook or someone on Twitter that you read, maybe a status update, maybe you don't even talk to them, old high school friend, but you read something that they write and it just makes you like feel icky inside or, um, you know, just kind of irritates you. And so I was really trying to be good about that last week when I went back and um, just kind of got rid of people that just kind of did drain me and try, I'm trying to surround people or surround myself with people who are real and on my same level and that push me to be a better person um, and don't allow me to be comfortable. So that's been awesome. Um, last couple really, really fast. Um, I've been so, one thing that's really, really actually really pumped me up is being able to share my story. Um, being able to, sh and for me making things happen wasn't like, um, you know, the magic pill or something like that, or it just wasn't the fix. Um, it's, it was just one of these awesome things that came into my life at the perfect time. And it's just a message that I think everyone needs to hear. Um, you know, whether you do Laura's blog post and that's it, or you go to the intensive, it's just, um, really, really powerful stuff. And so I've just loved, loved, loved being able to share, um, the message with, with, with others and just those people who I can see the hurt and see the pain or people that are right on the like brink of some awesome awesome change for themselves um, like where I was um, like you know a couple months ago and or a month ago um, and it just it's so exciting to see and it's so like you know my heart just goes out to these people because I'm just so I so know that you know by believing in themselves and really you know, t beating their fears, facing them like I've talked about. It's just things, you know, bottom line, breaking things down and seeing them clearly. Like, you can beat anything um, if you're yourself. You can do whatever you'd like to. You can, you know, crush anything you'd like, like Crush It, the book, um, really has shown as long as you have a passion for it and you really want to hustle. So um, I've just really enjoyed being able to share my experience so far from making things happen and just how it's affected my life daily, um, like I'm doing now. And I just have to say, last thing that super helps me today, I didn't have too great of a day. Went out to dinner with my husband and a couple of friends, and I just w wasn't feeling it. So, yes, my last thing that does make me or excited or fire me up or kind of knock me out of a bad mood sometimes is shopping. Yes, I do love doing it. I'm shopping for this office has been kind of fun. Um, just a little bit, like, getting a couple things. But So tonight I went to go pick up something that I knew that I needed, and um, I'm looking through different things. Um, and I come across this. Isn't that awesome? I know you can't read it because it's probably backwards, but like, yeah, it's just fate making things happen. Who, who, where do you find a shirt that says that and then that I see it? And yeah, so yes, that did definitely go in my cart to go and, um, maybe we'll be nerdy and wear it next week to the making things happen in Minneapolis, um, on Wednesday, January 20th. So, um, yeah, these are the things, these are just a couple of the things, um, today that I'm sharing that like truly fire me up. Um, truly get me going and really can just break the cycle of if you're in a bad mood or if you know you're just feeling super negative or things like that so um, I think that's it for tonight so again great to see everybody since I feel like I haven't been able to you know touch my blog for over five days now or almost maybe six and it's just um, I'm excited to share and say hello so looking forward to hearing from you guys and um Check out that, again, MTH um, 2010. You can see a lot of the posts there from the people who have been to it already, and there's just lots of good information. So pop on there if you get a chance. And um, if anything, just let me know if I can help you with anything. Feel free to email me, contact me in any way. All right, have a great night.